Hello my beautiful giants and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone again for such a long time and I'm really sorry but life always gets in the way and since I've never, I, t I tell you this every single time, I've never intended to continue on with this channel. I just wanted to share my um, rosacea video. Today I'm gonna be uh, getting ready with you guys and have a little chat about um, the face and life and um, it is a long one so grab a coffee. If you're enjoying what you're seeing and want to know what I've done here, <laughs> then keep on watching. If you want, step by my uh, Instagram account. Uh, I will put the name somewhere here and uh, follow me there if you uh, would like so. Uh, otherwise, I don't know, let's get into this, get ready with me and get this <laughs> achieved. <laughs> All right, so I have all my stuff laid out in front of me. It is a huge mess, so don't mind me scattering through and searching for stuff. So, um, I haven't been on here for quite a while and I have amped up my equipment as well. I don't have a camera still, but you know what? I really am a big fan of the uh, sentence start where you're at. And what I have right now is a really good phone, so that film's fine. You can see me, you can see my face. It does exaggerate my redness a little bit, but who cares? This whole thing is about redness, so let's go with it. All right, so I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I still have wet hair, so we'll uh, leave that as it is for the moment being. And I, what did I do? I didn't use any soap on my face today. What I've done is I washed it with water. And now I will be using a toner that I have just discovered. It's really new to me, so I'm not sure how this will work out um, for the long term, but I will tell you anyway. It's not a favorites video, so don't, we're just getting ready, okay, so I'm trying stuff. This is the, um, the Body Shop uh, British Rose Petal Soft Gel Toner. Um, replumps with moisture, soothes and softens. <laughs> and it is vegan, 100%, and formulated without any alcohol and enriched with community trade aloe vera. And it also has little rose leaves in there, if you can see. All right, so I'm just using this all over my face. It smells really yummy. This is actually why I'm using it. Mm. And I don't know what the deal is with the rose petals because they disappear and it's really confusing. <laughs> all right, so there we are. The redness, I mean, you know me. Uh, for my moisturizer, I will be using uh, the La Mer moisturizing cream now. <laughs> This stuff is ridiculously expensive, I know. And this one actually, just just let me show you how much of, a, <laughs> of an idiot I am. This is all that is left. It just literally fell down, do you see that? <laughs> this is the remain of the cream and I might get one more use out of it and then it's over. And you know what, I will have to give you another uh, skincare video very soon. Um, because quite a bit has changed. Um, quite a bit has changed and actually it is ridiculous that I'm filming today because my skin is irritated at the moment um, because I have tried another foundation that my skin did not agree with and I will not tell you which one it is so that you don't even try. And so my skin is irritated so it's not the best day uh, for me to be talking to you guys. But um, I... <laughs> Mm, attractive but I have switched up my skincare quite a bit and um, and it has been working until I tried this foundation so even when you think you don't have rosacea anymore and you've like figured it all out it still throws you back so I know how to handle it maybe I should rename my video because it is um, some people got really mad at me yeah like you cannot cure rosacea and all this kind of stuff you might not be able to cure rosacea and that might be true but what i firmly believe in is that you can cure um, or eliminate the causes for it because this is just a reaction of the body to something and in this case it is reaction with breakout and everything uh, to a uh, foundation i've been using so let's ignore that one and uh, move on all right my lips are really chapped so i will be using some lip scrub this one is Popcorn Lip Scrub by Lush. I'm sure you guys are 
very familiar. I'm doing this whole beauty uh, vlogger thing, but the truth is the camera is not good enough for that at all. Also, people get really upset about my British accent. Now, I have to tell you something right after I do this. Mm. All right, oh, that feels so good. I mean, it doesn't, but it feels like I'm getting rid of the dead skin. It is a sugary scrub and um, I'm using this for ages and it just never gets empty, it's ridiculous. I might have to get a new one because lash products tend to expire very quickly because they're so natural. All right, mm. Mm. I'm using the La Mer lip balm, which I've also had for ages. It is expensive, but it is good. And as you can see, I hit pan um, weeks ago. So, and I've had it for a very long time and I will still continue to use it until there's nothing left in there because this one is actually amazing. I'm not using any eye cream or anything else on my face because I need this uh, snafu to calm down. Oh my God, we were talking about the accents, weren't we? Okay, so someone got really annoyed at my British accent. I don't have a British accent. I have a British and an American accent whenever I am exposed to either because English is my third language. I am like Ukrainian originally, so I speak Russian as my first mother language. I um, speak perfect German because I grew up in Germany. I've been here for 20 years and now English is my third language. And so, and I'm really, um, like my German is without any accent unless I'm angry or a little bit tipsy. So um, I'm quite okay at um, mimicking accents, but not um, on purpose. But for some reason, for my own YouTube videos, the British side of me comes through. So please don't be offended. Please don't be annoyed. It's nothing I can control like really actively. <laughs> it's just how my brain works. For my foundation, foundation, uh, I will be using something that is ridiculous because I've had this for such a long time. Now, when this came out years ago in the US, um, and I'm talking about uh, Glossier um, products, uh, when this came out, a friend of mine um, went to the US and I begged him to bring me back the products. And then I tried this one and it literally done nothing for me. Uh, because my skin was so overboard with redness and bumps and all this kind of stuff not Like much much worse than this, but like, you know, it didn't do anything and I didn't get the point And so I didn't use it anymore and then The past couple of weeks my skin has been amazing It is so amazing that my skin my, that mom even commented like oh my god, you look good so today uh, is an exception uh, so then by by accident actually, and by watching Alana Davison's videos all the time, I went back to this and I put it on and it was amazing. And my skin loves it and it looks natural. And you know that I am embracing my redness. So um, this has been a really fantastic little friend. So much so that I'm even wearing it to work um, and just amp it up with some concealer where um, I have all the redness. So, uh, Glossier, I have the color light and it is a bit too light for me, even though I'm very, very light. Um, this could be a bit darker. So the next one I will be getting will be a bit darker. So it's very runny, as you can see right there. And I just take a couple of drops, there you go, and I just rub it and put it all over my face. My God, I really hope you get to see the effect. It takes a little bit, so be patient. All right, so as you can see, it does not cover up anything and it's not the point, hang on, let me get a mirror, and it's not the point of this product to cover up anything. Um, what it does much rather is for days where you don't want to wear any makeup, um, it's supposed to just even out your skin a little bit. So let's put some on my forehead. I've never used this one with the toner. Uh, with the body shop toner so maybe they will not sit together well and nicely but we shall see and as you can see already see how it's just evening it out without covering anything you can still see all my structure and for the girls out there who want to hide their imperfections completely this is not the product for you. So, sorry if I'm looking at myself all the time, but I'm doing this in my finder, so. Excuse me. 
I cannot fully take myself seriously with those ears on. But then again, I'm really enjoying life wearing them. <laughs> All right, and I just, as you can see, push it into the skin because it is a tint. And if you don't rub, you don't irritate your skin further. All right, so do you see this? It is better. It's not ideal, it's not perfect, but my skin isn't perfect right now, so who cares? I told you before and I will tell you again because I really want to stress this point. I believe that it is important to accept where your skin is at and give it some time to do its thing. So that's what I'm doing. With this uh, glossy stuff on my face, my skin does not get irritated. That has the effect that I can use other products on top of it and they don't irritate my skin either because this is the first layer and if that's not irritating then my skin can handle quite a bit of stuff. So I actually rediscovered uh, other things that I couldn't be using before. Um, one of them being the concealer that I will use. So, but before that I want to put on some glow and I just got uh, this Becca holiday uh, gift set um, that is the opal uh, shimmering skin perfecta in pressed form and then this is the opal shimmering skin perfecta spotlight so i've never used this one before just yesterday when i got back home so i will put it there and there because today i'm really going for the natural well for the glowy, relaxed look. So now, do we have some glow? We do. <laughs> All right, so concealer. This is my best friend at the moment because as you can see, the color, the, the tint, skin tint just um, evened my skin out, but it didn't really cover any redness spots that are extreme. So I'm using the instant anti-age effect. I'm, I'm sure it, all differently in uh, wherever you're watching. Uh, this is by uh, Maybelline. Yes, it's by Maybelline and this is the shade 6 Neutral. So it's the neutralizer. It's not the proper concealer and I'm enjoying this because it has such a strong yellow undertone that I am able to use it on my redness and it covers it much faster. So if you have redness, please um, stir away from the pink tone products because it will emphasize the redness that you have whereas yellow ones will be amazing in counteracting that see so that's the comparison yeah see you still can see my skin through but um it looks like healthy skin that is just you know, not perfect and you know what i'm not going for perfection i'm going for a comfortable and yet enhanced version of my skin. I don't need to be fully covered on a day-to-day -day basis because what really is the point guys? Tell me. If you're hiding your skin all the time, for example, if you're doing this because of that boy that you like, sooner or later if he's your boyfriend he will see your skin. I mean I'm not saying don't do this and girls I go for the glam please I love watching you. And I love glamming up once in a while, but on a day-to-day -day basis it's just not uh, possible if you have a life. And as you can see, the redness is still kind of there. My breakouts are still there, but I feel much better. And you know what? This, I am sure, by the majority of people on the street will be considered healthy skin even though you guys know how bad the my skin situation has been and sometimes gets so see you don't need the whole vava -va makeup to look okay so this is my face all right so I am using the, what is it called? Milk Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. And it is the milk chocolate, not the chocolate, because this is um, the most natural color for me. Pretty much the match of my tan. So, 
And now I really need to pay attention to my mirror instead of looking into the finder. Okay, so for powder, I'm trying to use, don't quote me on this, I'm trying to use the, I have a little sample of the translucent powder by Laura Mercier. I had a full size of this and I um, stopped using it after a while. So you know what, I'm actually cheating because it's supposed to be a get ready with me with my usual products. But since I'm not happy with my powder, I just don't want to use it today. So I'm using this at occasion to try out a new powder. All right, this should be fine. That's literally all I will do. This video is ridiculously long already. Okay, highlight. For highlight, I will be using my new, um, the little Becca one, the opal shade. I used, well, I have still have the um, champagne pop one uh, in full size, but this one's, it broke on me, so don't mind me. Uh, this one has a champagne, uh, well, peachy undertone kind of, and it is a little bit too dark for me at the moment, but this one, I think it's gonna be beautiful. So let's get my fan brush. This is actually just from the drugstore. Uh, in Germany, we have this drugstore called DM and they have an own brush line. And since I'm poor at the moment, <laughs> um, yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. The bunny enjoys it. <laughs> this is Real Techniques, the setting brush. I'm gonna take a tiny bit and just put it here. We are doing one of my favorites today. I use this all the time. Also got it from the video of Elena Davison, girl. Uh, you're amazing um, and this is the Urban Decay Afterglow um, 8 hour powder brush in the color video and just look at this puppy ah, I love it for natural days it is everything and I like using smaller brushes actually because um, this way I feel like I get to distribute it a bit better and work it into the skin I heard they are supposed to discontinue it, so please tweet at Urban Decay that they're not, that they cannot do this to me or Lana. I know she loves it too. Right. I just take back my bronzing brush and just combine it all together. Tip, 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 tip. Better. Let's take some into the crease. I love my ears. <laughs> so silly. Imagine your like boss goes on the internet and then sees you like that. Fun times. There we go. All right. Now eyes. And this is really what I like to be doing on a regular basis. You know that I am a lot. So for my eyes, I'm using the absolutely ridiculously priced, uh, yet very loved um, Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. Look at this. I got the Scandalust one and it's since been sold out and I cannot tell you how happy I am that I splurged because it is such beautiful eyeshadows and it is really loved and used every single day. So. So I'm just taking the shade um, at the office, uh, which I'm absolutely not today, at the office all over the lid. And I'm not a proper makeup guru, so don't judge me if I'm doing weird stuff. All right. And um, actually what I like to be doing is also take um, the Tartlet, uh, Tartist, no, wrong, Tartlet in Bloom palette. And then I take the shade Sweetheart right there because it is slightly darker than the, other, than the one from the Scandalous palette and I just put it in my 
corner and drag it out and up a little bit because I have a hooded eyes brush. By the way, the fluffy um, blending brush is again from the drugstore and I've had this puppy for literally years and I know I should be next splurging on good brushes soon because they do make your life easier but um, it's not the time folks it's not the time uh, yes so and I will also be putting down this underneath my eye and drag it upwards as well I just pinched the, the tip of my brush and just go in there Right, this is it for the base. And now I'm going back to my Scandalous palette and I'm taking this shimmery shade in uh, Cause of Fuss, which I'm known for. And I'm gonna take this on a flat brush by Real Techniques. This is their detailer brush, which I really like for small, um, smaller application there you go I just put it in the middle of my lid there we go oh yes yeah, so the background has changed um, because I moved and uh, I'm still not in my own place I'm still sharing the flat uh, now I live with a really cool lady who's a friend of a friend and um, yeah still searching for an apartment it is a nightmare in Munich where I live in Germany uh, all the other cities are so much easier. I lived in all big major cities in Germany. I lived in Cologne, I lived in Hamburg and Berlin. And Munich so far has been the toughest one to find a place to live in. And I really want to stay in the city and not move out to the um, suburbs. So the search continues. Uh, now what I do is I take the same detail brush and now we're gonna do the detail highlighting so i'm taking the first shade here which is my favorite it's called hot pants and oh my god i love this so much so i put it now i really need my mirror you know what i'm gonna use this one now i put this all the way in the inner corner and as you can see it's lighting up immediately and i'm putting it underneath in the corner as well which i used to hate doing there we go and it's just so pretty and you don't look overdone but you look so well put together in my opinion all right so that's the eyes as you can see and now comes my highlighting bit uh, i love taking this and putting it down my nose because the the shade is just so perfect maybe i should get moonstone by becca maybe that is similar and I just ah, love it. And what I like to do is also do a little cross because I like when this section here is highlighted. And as you can see, it is because it just makes you look so healthy. And now what I do is I also take that and instead of making the dot on my nose, what I like to do, because I want some more definition because my nose is quite round, what I like to do is uh, draw in little lines on top like that just on the high points and almost do a cross as well and see how this is so pretty this makes you look so youthful and glowy and then i take it on my lips as well oh, i'm going overboard with the highlight today loving it and i will also put some on the high points of my cheeks just to tie it all together and there oh so pretty all right and the mascara i have been uh, loving for every day is actually my trusty Great Lash by Maybelline. And what I like to do is push it into the roots. And if you have 
a droopy and or a hooded eye like me just make sure that no lashes are pointing down there you go and usually this whole shebang takes me much less time but because I'm rambling on with you guys this is taking ages just need to come through these now I'm gonna do my brows off camera Okay, so this is the brows done. So I'm just gonna tell you what I used because I'm not gonna show you how I've done it. I just pencil them in with this um, Brow Precise Micro Pencil by Maybelline in the color blonde. And then I use Gimme Brow by Benefit in the number one, I suppose. Yes, one brow voluminizer fiber gel, which is great because I have really sparse brows because I overplucked them, so don't do it. Sorry, my lip liner is... Um, MAC and it's been loved and worn, <laughs> it's, uh, the boldly bare one. And now today I want to try something new because I've been eyeing this for ages and I got it yesterday, which is the H&M lipstick. Uh, Tati made me do it and she said the H&M lipsticks are fantastic so I wanted to give it a whirl and I've been eyeing this particular one for ages and that is the number Kombucha or Kombucha, I never know which is how to say it. And that's the color. Mm. I love this color so much. Absolutely stunning, that color. Now, but what I need to do now is to um, put something rosy on my cheeks. That's what I feel like. Let me just do that quickly. I'll use my trusty old favorite, which is Laura Mercier um, in Rose Bloom. It's that color, and I think it's gonna just warm it up, um, rose it up a little bit. Okay, guys, so. Let me uh, put this off, put my hair into some sort of form and get dressed. Oops. <laughs> and I will uh, be right back and show you the final result. And this is it guys, this is the finished look. I feel super happy with um, the new lipstick. Um, the face is how I would usually wear it, so that's what I like to run around as. I hope you enjoyed that. I am really enjoying my earrings. <laughs> These I also have seen first on Alana's channel, so I put the link to her channel down below and you go and check it out because she's beautiful, she's wonderful, uh, she's gold AF. And um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please, please, please leave me the comment down below what you want to be seeing from me on this channel because I really want to make you happy and um, help you out with maybe some tips that I have or if you just enjoy watching uh, people like me do their makeup and combat this whole face situation and just go for life then just whoo, just let me know and um, I cannot tell you how blessed I am uh, or how blessed I feel knowing that all of you are following my channel we're almost at 2000 people and i'm super super happy and honored to have you here guys so that comes from the bottom of my heart i never thought that there is um space left on this platform for someone like me but <laughs> but uh, there seems to be and i'm really 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 grateful so uh let me know what you want to be seeing uh, in the coming videos let me know what you think of uh, all the stuff that I used and how it turned out. Um, and if you're using any of those products or if you have any suggestions for me because I'm still on the hunt for a good concealer and a good powder for rosacea. Um, so I just wish you the best skin ever, a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Bye!